Good morning. Today we're going to work with the uh, Fluke Biomedical ESA 615 and we're going to use the automated sequence on it to test this uh, life pack defibrillator LP20 uh, for electrical safety. Uh, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and power on the ESA 615. It's going to do a self check and now it's complete. It's going to bring up what the last test is. Across this top line here, we'll see what all the ports correspond to. So these are saying these for ECG testing and these two are for paddle testing at the end. Um, and the test that's currently selected in there is an IEC 62353 direct for a uh, defibrillator with five patient connections. Uh, so we're going to want to change a few things here. And the reason we want to change it is if we are to use all these blocks across the top, our defibrillator is a, our defibrillator has the snap adapters. So we're going to standard snap adapter from our kit. And if we put this across here, like such, to hook in the ECG snaps, you'll notice on the end, there's two more ECG snaps. And the problem with that is, to use the hands-free adapter for the defibrillator. You need this connector. This is on the defibrillator. And uh, so you would use our hands-free adapter from the Impulse 7000 kit and it connects into here like this. There you go. But when you go to the end, you can't put them in because these are bananas and you've filled them up with uh, snaps. So what we're going to do is we're going to get into the test sequence and, and alter that. So let's just go ahead and remove this for now and remove the ECG leads. And what I'm going to do is pan back a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a standard off the shelf USB keyboard. And I'm going to connect this into the side of the ESA 615. The reason I want to do that is because now instead of having to use the keys on on the uh, ESA 615 to trigger, I can now use the keys on the keyboard. So that said, let's go back to our test library, F3. And we're going to go down to our 62353 defibrillator direct and we're going to hit F2 to view or edit it. All right, so now that we're in here, we can go down and we can see everything that is entailed in this test. Uh, five patient connections is all good, test be good, all these things are good. Right here's one that we might want to change. Pause after power on, no. I'm actually gonna change that to yes. So I'm gonna hit F1 to edit it. And now we're gonna start back over. So we're, we're back to the beginning, so we're make sure we keep everything the same. Uh, so the 62353-direct, that's correct. So we hit next step. This is a defibrillator, so it's a class one device. Next. And it's going to highlight the ones that are already in there. So if you don't want to alter it, just keep selecting it. Now here's, here's one we're gonna change. Here's the ECG. Um, it's using the first three ports, and it says it's not tied. And type CF. So what we're going to do in order to pull this test off is we're going to use the one to 10 adapter. We'll put this other block on here. And what this allows us to do is connect 10 ECG leads through one port, it, uh, it bars them together. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through and we're going to delete this step real quick. So F3 to delete it. Yes, I am sure I want to delete it. And we're going to create a new step, F2. Now we're going to type, title this ECG 1 to 10, because we're going to use the 1 to 10 adapters. And we're going to patient connections 1, because we only need one now, because we're only using the one port. Okay? And we're going to make them tied. That indicates that all those leads are tied together. And the type is BF. And F1 for done. 
Now we're going to go down to, so right here we have our, East, our new ECG and it shows which port it's connected to. But now you'll see, while we're in here, you'll see at the top line it says paddles. The top line you see says paddles. Here's a new ECG, that's good, but we're not using paddles, remember? We're using a hands-free adapter. We're using a hands-free adapter. So let's, uh, let's just change that term while we're in here. So we're going to hit delete. Um, since this one's the one that's highlighted, you can see by the arrow key, paddles is highlights, so we're going to delete that part. And we're going to remember that it's uh, not tied and type BF. That way we want to keep the same, as well as the number of ports. So delete F3, yes. Um, now we're going to create a new one, F2, and we're going to call it Dfib Hands Free. And then going down to patient connections, we'll hit the down arrow and enter. And there's two patient connections. And they are not tied, they're gonna be tested individually. Individually, And that type, remember, was BF. So there we go. So essentially the only thing we did is we changed the title of it and everything else is the same. It's gonna show the two ports it's gonna to connect to now, right here. And we're gonna hit F1 for done. So now you can see the ECG is on the first port and the hands-free is on the next two ports. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and hit next step, F1, and we're going to move through the rest of the test to make sure there's nothing else we want to change. Test be normal, test mode, all that's good. Now, I want to alter this. I want it to halt after power on. That allows me to, tell, to turn the defibrillator on. By turning this to yes, when it's time to turn the defibrillator on, it'll pause the sequence and tell me to turn it on. And then here, where it says pause after power off, I'm going to turn this to yes, so it'll tell me to turn the defibrillator off. If not, it's just going to go through and I'm going to have to be watching. I'm going to have to turn it off and on, but this will give me a reminder to do it. And then we're going to keep the test. Everything else we're going to keep the same, so we're just going to hit F1 for next. And now here's the title. Let's uh, change this. So what it did is it took our original title and added today's date. Well, that's great, but um, this is a test that my other technicians are going to use. So we're going to go ahead and edit this so they know uh, exactly what we're doing. And the date's kind of confusing for them. So we're going to say direct defibrillator, and here we'll get rid of the date. And let's put in instead, let's call it hands free. 1, 2, 10, so is, there we go, and that would mean, oh, I see a mistake there, F3, the D didn't come in, and this is how easy it is to fix things, just delete them out, hands, free, space, 1, 2, 10 A D P T. And that would mean it's a defibrillator with the hands free and the 1 to 10 adapter. So my technicians will know which one to use in the future. And we're going to hit F1 for done. There's the name, we can review it. F1 for next step. And there it is. Uh, here's, you can review, go down through. If we need to change anything, we can edit it. But we know it's good, so scroll through. Everything looks good. All right, so we're going to save it, F1. And that's saved now. All right, so at the top now, you can now see uh, my operator. I'm just going to be John Biomed today. And the name of the defibrillator, uh, the name of the test is the 62353 standard direct defibrillator, hands-free. Um, we're going to follow the IEC 62353 load in this ESA 615. It's a class one device, and we're going to use three patient connections because we're going to hook all of the ECG to the one to 10 adapter. So hit F1 for next. And again, this equipment number was 1234. And the serial number was test 123. The manufacturer is Medtronic. So we're just typing MED, the model LP20. The location, Biomed. Another, um, it has a battery issue. Here. 
And now let's start F1 for starting. I don't know the last time this was used. Um, I don't know if this cable's been changed. We recommend we zero it every 30 days. So let's go ahead and we're gonna zero the cable by pushing F1. Now it says connect the red jack on ESA 615 to the accessible earth conductive point for protective earth ground wire resistance test, earth bond. So at this point, we're gonna go ahead and hook up our defibrillator. So here's the power cord for the defibrillator. We'll plug this into the side. Our red alligator clip we're gonna take from the null pin and we're gonna to go to the ground pin on the back of the defib. While I'm here and I'm thinking of it, I'm gonna go ahead and hook up the rest of my connections. So I have my hands-free adapter and I can see off the top, those are these two ports and my ECG is off of this port. And I'm gonna connect Have our ECG on our 1 to 10 adapter. Press F1 for test. Now the ESA 615 is going to go through and perform all its safety tests that are pre programmed. These are the ones we set up into it. Test our mains voltage. Delay after powering on unit. So it says halt after power on, so we're gonna power it on. Now the defibrillator's powered on, we're gonna push F1 for continue. Now we're testing the ECG leakage. And now our hands free leakage. You can see the two ports is selected. after power off, so we're going to power off the defibrillator and continue. So it's halt, halt power on, so power on and continue. to power off, power off, and continue. And now, you can see that our test has been completed. So we're going to push F1 for next. And here's the name of our test. You see the 1234, that's the equipment number, the date, and the time. So we're going to go ahead and F1 to save it. and it's saved into our test record. So when we go back to our biomed shop, we can pull that information back off. That is how to check the test records in the ESA 615, modify them, save them for the next technician, and go ahead and perform them and save the data. Thank you.